human rights issues are non-negotiable. So they have an absolute uh, priority without any question. We were very clear on that, uh, that this is uh, our position. In a huge blow to Turkey's ambitions to join the European Union, the European Union's top two officials said they expressed deep concerns about human rights in Turkey in their first meeting in a year with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. President Erdogan has been preparing for quite some time for this visit in the hope to mend ties with the European Union. Last month, President Erdogan shared a dramatic human rights plan for the people of Turkey. The plan focused on protecting dignity, beliefs, values, life and privacy. The plan was quite similar to the European Convention on Human Rights. Turkey is formally a candidate for EU membership, but its bid to join the 27-nation bloc has been at standstill. President Erdogan's efforts at reconciliation followed a flare-up of tensions last year over Turkey's decision to stop deterring migrants from crossing its border into Greece, as well as over the dispatching of Turkish research ships into waters claimed by Greece and Cyprus. The EU leaders also asked the European Commission to explore ways to continue to help finance the estimated 4 million Syrian refugees in Turkey, as well as those in Jordan and Lebanon. European Union leader von der Leyen told reporters the European Union would continue to help Turkey support Syrian refugees, but said Turkey must stand by its commitment and prevent departures of people hoping to enter Greece without authorization. We will continue to support refugees and host communities. By this we are supporting Turkey, that is hosting 4 million refugees and living up to, its to this challenge. Basic humanitarian needs, education and health care will remain priorities, but EU funding should in the future increasingly power better opportunities for refugees to earn their own livelihood. These and statements by top officials are timely, especially since Joe Biden is trying to influence a change in Turkey. After all, Biden did say he will try to overthrow Erdogan, not through a coup, but by supporting the opposition Making in Turkish clear elections. That we support opposition leadership. If we were to engage more directly, like I was doing with them, that we can support those elements of the Turkish leadership that still exist and get more from them and embolden them to be able to take on and defeat Erdogan, not by a coup, not by a coup, but by the electoral process. Turkey is the only Muslim-majority country in NATO, and that obviously separates it from other Christian partners. And today, it also faces sanctions from the United States. The United States says it's sanctioned Turkey due to significant transactions with Russia. Turkey purchased the Russian S-400 air defense system which raised eyebrows in Washington and resulted in imposing of economic sanctions on Turkey following the Turkish lira falling. In addition, Turkey was expelled from the F-35 joint program. In turn, representatives of the Turkish Defense Ministry stated there were no threats for this type of fighter jets from the S-400 systems. The United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken recently said that despite a strategic partnership, there's a number of disagreements between American authorities and Turkey, in particular because of purchases of Russian-made arms. The President of the EU Council, Charles Michael, declared that EU is ready to cooperate with Turkey in case of of its good behaviour, namely the start of political dialogue with Greece and Cyprus. Following statements by EU officials, Erdogan has not commented.